Hey what's up Hello, my name is Emma and today I'm giving you guys a bookshelf tour. I haven't done one of these in maybe like 8 months or so. I really wanted to keep a schedule of it being like every 6 months but I got new bookshelves after the 6 month period and now they're exactly how I want them to be for now so I decided to do it today. So if you've watched my last bookshelf tour you might notice something new but there's another one here. Of course this bookshelf is ever changing and I will be doing another updated one in a couple of months but for now, here is what my bookshelf looks like in September of 2015. Okay, so as always, my first shelf is my Harry Potter shelf. So the first thing on my shelf is this Harry Potter Deathly Hallows necklace. I got this from Hot Topic probably around the time that Deathly Hallows came out, the movie. I don't really wear it much because I don't like the chain, but I just like to have it on my bookshelf. And then I have all of my book con passes. I have the two from last year and these are all signed by booktubers that I met and then I had my two from this year and I just like to have them on my shelf obviously because they're book related right, and then to start with the actual things I have this pair of my fake Harry Potter glasses I got these at Party City they're really stupid quality they're like a dollar and I just popped out the lenses so I could use it for the biannual bibliothon but I like to just have it on my shelf then I have my time turner in its case that I never want to take out because it's a pain in the ass to put back but I got this at the Harry Potter exhibit in New York City that happened a couple of years ago. They just had like costumes and props and stuff from the movies and then they had a gift shop which is where I got this. Then there's my chocolate frog box. I got this at Harry Potter World in London. There's still a chocolate frog in it but it's pretty old so I don't know how edible the chocolate frog is but I really like having the box. Then I have my Ginny Weasley wand. I just like having it on my shelf and I always felt like it fit my hand better than the rest of the wands would have and I always wanted to be Ginny because obviously she marries Harry but basically Basically, I love my wand. Then, peeking out of the corner here, I have my two chocolate frog cards. Um, one was from that chocolate frog that I have, and the other was my boyfriend's. And I got Alba Stumbledore, and he got Salazar Slytherin. And I just think they're cute to have on my shelf. And then this is my watercolor Hogwarts castle painting that I did for the DIY challenge for this last biennial Bibliothon. I'm just so freaking proud of it. Like, I'm not a big painter or art person, but I really, really love the way it turned out. So I like having it with the rest of my Harry Potter books. And now for the actual books. The Tales of Beetle the Bard, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood prints. And then I have two copies of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. One I actually bought at the minute release of the book and the other I won the next day so I like to keep them both on my shelf. And then around my house I have a couple of copies of books 1 through 5 in paperback but I like to just have the hardcovers on my first shelf. And then this next shelf is basically just my Rochelle Mead and Rick Riordan shelf. There's no really trinkets or anything on it. So the first book I have is Bloodlines, The Golden Lily, and then those are the first two in the Bloodline series by Rochelle Mead. Then the movie cover for Vampire Academy, the actual cover for Vampire Academy that goes with the rest of the box set, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, and The Last Sacrifice, all by Rochelle Mead as well. Then we start with the Rick Riordan part of the shelf, The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian, all from the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. Then we have The Lost Hero, The Son of Neptune, The Mark of Athena, The House of Hades, and The Blood of Olympus, all from the Heroes of Olympus series. Then finally, this book doesn't fit standing up on the shelf, but is Percy Jackson's Greek Gods by Rick Riordan and illustrated by John Bronco. And so that's it for the Rochelle Mead and Rick Riordan shelf. So this is my Shadowhunter Chronicles shelf, which obviously has a lot of stuff on it, so it's going to take us a while to get through. Starting with all the little trinkets, I have this button that I got from BookCon that says the end is also the beginning. Then this used to be a keychain, but it's supposed to be Jace's Steel from the City of Bones movie. And it lights up, which is pretty cool. Then I have actually Juice of Steel, which I got from Hot Topic. And uh, it's also like an invisible pen, but it doesn't really work anymore, but I just like having it on my shelf. Then I have this angelic rune with wings necklace that Sierra from Sierra Reads got me for my birthday. And then I have this rune candle that I got for my birthday as well. Then I have Isabel Lightwood's ruby necklace, which is a replica from the New City of Bones movie that I got on eBay. It was only like $2, so if you want one, go get one. Then I have my replica mortal cup that I made myself in ceramics class and it took forever but it came out really awesome in my opinion especially for my first ever thing that I made in ceramics so I love it and I have this snake wrap bracelet which is supposed to be Isabel's whip from the City Bones movie and I also got this on eBay and then I have the Shadowhunter tarot deck of cards which is like 25 tarot cards and I think it's about 50 actual cards and I don't feel like taking them out because it'll take forever to put back in but this was a Christmas present and I love it so much starting over here I have UK special edition of City of Bones 
Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. Then I have the movie cover for City of Bones. Then I have the Infernal Devices series, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. And then we start with the Mortal Instrument series, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. Then I have the Bane Chronicles. Then again, I have two copies of the Shadowhunters Codex because one is signed by Cassandra Clare. And then I like to keep this Lady Midnight chapter sampler on my shelf as well. I have not read it yet. I'm kind of waiting until the actual book comes out to read it, but I like to keep it there. And so before anyone asks me again, yes, I'm going to be buying the box sets of the new paperbacks for the Mortal Instruments and the Infernal Devices. So the next time you see this shelf, in a couple of weeks or so, it should be expanded to two because there's there's no more room guys you can see there's nothing and now we're moving on to my favorite dystopian shelf starting with the darkest minds never fade and in the afterlight all by alexandra kraken uglies and pretties both by scott westerfeld the testing independent study and graduation day all by joelle charbonneau then the program the treatment and the remedy all by suzanne young then two of the selection novellas the prince and the guard the selection the elite the one and the air all by kiara cast shatter me unravel me ignite me and the shatter me novellas just drew me fracture me and juliet's journal to come together as Unite Me, all by Tara Maffi, Divergent, Insurgent, Allegiant, and the Divergent Novellas 4, all by Veronica Roth, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay, all by Suzanne Collins. And then, I forgot to mention this before, but with it flinging around and stuff during the shelf, I'll just show you now. This is my pass from VidCon 2015, so my name is Emma, and my channel is Emma Books. And then on the back, I'd ask for your name again, and your passion, and my passion is, you can't really see it anymore because it's wiped away, but it said Books with Jace Wayland, because clearly that is my passion. And that concludes my dystopian favorites shelf. Then we have my contemporary favorites slash pretty contemporaries slash books I don't know where to put shell. First book is Charles underscore HRH's Guide to Great Britishness, Extraordinary Means by Robin Schneider, Girl Online by Zoe Sugg, More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera, This Song Will Save Your Life by Layla Sales, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven, Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, Tease by Amanda Maciel, Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the Happily Ever After, all by Stephanie Perkins. Survive the Night by Danielle Vega. The Silence of Six by E.C. Myers. The Naturals and Killer Instinct, both by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Then Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. The Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. Ugly Love and Maybe Someday, both by Colleen Hoover. A Work in Progress by Connor Franta. I Hate My Selfie by Shane Dawson. Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. Paper Towns and Abundance of Catherines. Looking for Alaska. And the movie cover for The Fault in Our Stars, all by John Green. Then Attachments, Eleanor and Park, and Landline, all three by Rainbow Rowell. Then we have Grey, Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades Darker, and Fifty Shades Freed, all by E.L. James. So it's kind of a mix of contemporary and adult, and I really love this shelf because it's like my prettiest shelf by far. Okay, so this is my sci-fi favorite shelf. I haven't read exactly every book on this shelf, but it's basically the books I love from sci-fi and other sci-fi books that I haven't read yet, but I think I will love. So we have Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, and Fairest, all by Marissa Meyer. The Unbecoming of Maradire, The Evolution of Maradire, and The Retribution of Maradire, all by Michelle Hodkin. Alienated and Invaded, both by Melissa Landers. The Taking and The Replaced, both by Kimberly Durding. And underneath all of those is Armada by Ernest Cline, and Ready Player One would normally go up here with the rest of the books but my boyfriend's currently reading it so I don't currently have it. Then I have The Diviners by Libba Bray, Obsidian, Opal, and Origin all by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Then I have Elusive and Deceptive both by Emily Lloyd-Jones, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, Wise Words from Across Space and Time by Carvin Scott and Mark Wright, The Only Good Dalek by Justin Richards and Mike Collins, and Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. So that is my main sci-fi shelf. Then we have my main fantasy shelf, 8th grade bites, 9th grade slays, 10th grade bleeds, 11th grade burns, and 12th grade kills, all from the Chronicles of Vladimir Todd series by Heather Brewer. Then we have Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn from the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, and Air of Fire from the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass, Rebel Bell, and Miss Mayhem, both by Rachel Hawkins, The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier, The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black, and Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, The Archive, and The Unbound, both by Victoria 
Victoria Schwab, Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Rune and Rising from the Grisha Trilogy by Leigh Bardugo, Hexed by Michelle Kreis, and Half Bad by Sally Green. Clearly I have three shelves dedicated to four of the massive fantasy series, so this is pretty much just the shelf that groups a lot of the other ones together. And so this is my extra sci-fi shelf for all of the other sci-fi books I didn't fit on the shelf above it. The Hobbit, another copy of The Hobbit. I have no idea where my copy of The Fellowship of the Ring is, but The Two Towers. And The Return of the King, all by J.R.L. Tolkien. A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, and A Storm of Swords, all by George R.R. Martin. Underneath that is The Fifth Wave, and The Infinite Sea, both by Rick Yancey. Mind Games, and Perfect Lies, both by Kirsten White. The Young Elites by Marie Lu. Uninvited, and Unleashed, both by Sophie Jordan. Nil by Lynn Matson, Control by Lydia King, Revived by Kat Patrick, and The Host by Stephanie Meyer, Inland by Kat Rosenfield, When We Wake by Karen Healy, Strangelets by Michelle Gagnon, Red Rising by Pierce Brown, and Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. So that's it for my extra sci-fi shelf. And like my extra sci-fi shelf, I have my extra fantasy shelf. This is a 3T box set that I got when I was in the airport in England. I was on my way home, and inside of them I have all the pence that I saved from England. So I have London tea, English breakfast tea, which is my favorite, and more English breakfast tea. And so I really like the boxes, so I like to keep them on my shelf. I don't think that's the order that I put them in, but oh well. And then I have my TBR jar, which was a gift from Miss Essie Cassie. Um, it says Mischief Manager on the top, and then it says my YouTube channel and the books on it, and it has the feet from the Marauders map on it, and this is what I use to keep um, my jar of TBR challenges for the year, and I'm almost so close to being done. Beautiful Creatures, Beautiful Darkness, Beautiful Chaos, and Beautiful Redemption, all by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare, The Iron King by Julie Cagawell, Ruby Red, Emerald Green, and Sapphire Blue, The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, and The Hero of Ages, all by Brandon Sanderson, and The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. So this is basically the fantasy reject shelf because I didn't make it to my other fantasy shelf. And like my extra sci-fi and extra fantasy shelf, this is my extra dystopian shelf. So this is just a little lantern that I just keep on the shelf because obviously it's pretty empty. Going on to the books, I have Legend, Prodigy, and Champion, all by Marie Lu. More Than This by Patrick Ness. Taken and Frozen, both by Aaron Bauman. The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, and The Death Cure, all by James Dashner. Reboot and Rebel, both by Amy Tintero. Monument 14 by Emmy Laybourne. The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. And Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. So really, there's not much else to the shelf. It's just the dystopians that don't fit on the dystopian shelf. Finally, we are down to the last two shelves. This is my shelf for ARCs and the rest of my adult books. I actually don't know the author of this book because I don't believe it's Vian Straka, but I know this book is called S and Game the Calling by James Fry, Illuminae by Jamie Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, Nobody Has to Know by Frank Nappy. I forgot to put this book on the shelf before I started filming, but the next book would be Boost by D.A. Paul, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli, A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston, The White Rose by Amy Ewing, I Just Like Fire by Sarah. Rash, Emmy and Oliver by Robin Benway, Made You Up by Francesca Zappia, Paperweight by Meg Haston, 99 Days by Katie Catugno, How to Fly with Rocks in Your Pocket by Anna Beach, Those Girls by Lauren Saft, My Arc Copy of Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone, Progeny of Gods by Jeffrey Storm, Lethal Response by Ernest Barrett, Another Copy of Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James, Perfect Match by Jody Picoult, Vicious by V.E. Schwab, The Circle by Dave Eggers, Room by Emma Donahue, Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk, Volition by Lily Paradise, Ignite by Lily Paradise and everything I learned about life I learned to dance class by Abby Lee Miller. So that is all of my arcs as well as my adult books. And then we are on my final shelf which is my extra contemporary shelf. I don't feel like going through all of my bookmarks but those are all my bookmarks sitting in the corner. So we have My True Love Gave to Me which is by 12 different YA authors but it is edited by Stephanie Perkins. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Dear Nobody The True Diary of Mary Rose. The Hit by Melvin Burgess. After Party by Anne Resdich Stampler. The Edge of Falling by Rebecca Searle. Panic by Lauren Oliver. The Duff by Cody Keplinger. Amy and Rogers Epic Detour by Morgan and Matson, Skinny by Ivy Kaslick, If I Stay, and Where She Went, both by Gail Foreman. So that is it for my September 2015 bookshelf tour. I absolutely love having my new shelves, and I can't wait to add more books to them. Leave a comment below letting me know which shelf of mine is your favorite. That is it for this video, and I will see you soon for a new one. Bye!